Hello and welcome to the 35th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at function templates an overloading function which we looked at previously where you take the same number of parameters and essentially perform the same task but you might have a function that multiplies two numbers together and maybe prints it out and maybe it returns it but literally the only difference is it, is the type of number it takes, so it could be an integer, it could be a float, it could be a double, and maybe it returns obviously an integer float or double. This would be a prime example of what you would want a function template for. You don't want ones that literally have no connection to each other in terms of the sort of action they're performing. So we're just going to show you how to implement template functions and you'll see exactly what we mean by the ideal scenario. So we're going to use the example of multiplying two numbers. I'm going to be returning that number, which we're going to be printing out. So instead of actually doing a float and then integer function that will essentially perform the same functionality, aka multiplication, we can just do one and it'll be a template function. And it'll support double as well then. So what we're going to do is template. So you use the keyword template, do less than, then you type in the word class, and now you well type in what your class is going to be called. I'm just going to put data type, then you put greater than. Now you actually put your function. So we're going to do data type, and then we're going to put our function name. So we're going to do multiplication. And now in here what we do is actually put our parameters. So, because we want a generic data type for all of our parameters, we put data type A, data type B. I did just briefly mention that I said this is the class name uh, or the class that we're gonna implement. I meant it's the actual type of data that is that name. So, what we're gonna do is in here, return A multiplied by B, and now what we can do is just see out the result of some multiplication. And we'll just show you different types of data. So what we're going to do is multi is called multiplication. And this takes two parameters. So we're just going to provide it five and six. Now run it we get a result of 30. But if we were to put 5.5, .5, as you can see, you have an error, no matching function for chord to multiplication because they're two separate types of data. So if we just put 5.5 and 5.9, now run it, it does the double version. And if we want the flow version, we can just put F there. And like all, obviously, we can cast it as well. So if we were to cast it, it will truncate it, therefore doing 5 times by 6, which is 30. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. Whatever you feel comfortable with is A-OK. -okay. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of this series, we'll be looking at namespaces. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.